Now, some patients have great big hemoglobin, big blue guys, like giant blue rivers, and they're in the deep reticular or subreticular space, and they have a lot of deoxygenated hemoglobin, and they're part of the venous return system. IPL doesn't do well for those. This is like the hair removal of vessels. You need a laser, an assault rifle, to go after big blue spider veins on the leg or big blue, blue, deep uh, subdermal vessels on the face. And you might consider a long pulse YAG, a neodymium YAG, uh, which is your, uh, neodymium yttrinum aluminum garnite. And this pounds out one photon every time you fire the trigger. And it's a very, very high energy, 200 to 300 joules per centimeter squared in um, a 1064 photon, and it targets way, way, way down at the end of the spectrum here, where hemoglobin um, is not as aggressively absorbed, and it's also more deeply absorbed than, uh, than melanin. And so right here, hemoglobin, although it's used for hair removal, long pulse shag on dark skin patients, because it just doesn't like melanin that much, it's also very valuable in long pulse duration and large spot size for deep blue vessels. And so here's an example of deep blue vessels that come from the angular or transverse facial artery, and it, they penetrate out into the dermis. And this is from the sub uh, dermal space on the nose, and here's examples of leg veins. Each one of these have deep blue reticular veins feeding this reticular network in the dermis. And so if you have a leg vein practice or your busy dermatology practice, you've got a lot of blue vessels in your practice, leg or face, you might consider the long pulse YAG. Yeah, and it looks something like this. Here's the pretibial area on a woman without saphenofemoral junctional leaking. If she's leaking at the groin, you've got to treat the groin. Good studies out there showing after three treatments, 75% reduction or so. Sorry, after two treatments, 75% reduction. We do three and talk about 50 to 70% reduction to be reasonable. Here's pretibial. Uh, there's immediately and there's after the second treatment. And again, behind the knee, big reticular veins. IPL won't get those after one treatment, after two treatments. Uh, side of the calf, all these patients have competent, intact, cephalofemoral junction. If the plumbing's ruined at the top, you gotta fix the plumbing. You can't just be treating the smaller pipes or the big pipes are gonna open them up again. So you gotta control the pipes in the groin first, and that's when used to be stripping back in the 80s when I trained, now it's endoluminal uh, elegant closure techniques. And here's a leg vein uh, from our clinic again with double injury type technique. I use it on the face quite a bit, the long pulse YAG for capillary hemangiomas or strawberry angioma big uh, perforators through the forehead, and that won't get killed with an IPL. Capillary hemangiomas and uh, uh, telangiectasia verrucus, telangiectasia on the lower lid, nose, uh, and again, areas we use a long pulse YAG. So color correction, 15 minutes, 180 to 220 on the face, pulses, and then additionally on the neck or the back of the hand. Step number one. How much do you charge for that? Well, we'll talk about the business tomorrow, but don't undervalue your service. We'll talk about different business models, discounters to luxury. Most doctors are hybrid and in the middle. Typically, you can get away with a series of three photo facials anywhere from 1,500 to 2,500 for a series of three photo rejuvenations. So you charge um, per treatment, 750 to 999 per treatment, or you sell the three pack up front and they give them a bit of a discount. That's photo facial. 